Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jamie V. Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, I'm going to be trying out two new products. I'm going to be trying the Professional Super Setter by Benefit, and I'm also going to be trying the new Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydro Maniac Tinted Glow Hydrator. So if you guys are excited to see what my thoughts are on these products that are on my face, then go ahead and keep watching. All right, guys, so like I said in the intro, I'm going to be trying two new products today. I'm going to be trying the new Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydro Maniac Tinted Glow Hydrator. I'm really excited about that. It's medium coverage up to 24 hour wear. It has kombucha, filtrate, and marula oil in it. So, and I got the shade 40, which is light medium. I will tell you, it did not have a lot of options. So we'll see how that goes. And then the next item I said I was going to be trying is the Professional Super Setter Long Lasting Setting Spray. I've actually had this for almost like a month and I haven't used it. It was sent to me. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I did not pay for this. It was actually on my auntie haul a while ago but it was sent to me for free. So I was like, wow, I guess I'll go ahead and give it a try. So we're gonna do our face makeup to try some new face makeup. That didn't make any sense. Um, this is also new. It's not new, but it's new to me. So this is the Hangover um, face primer. I've seen it all over the internet. And I honestly, I got it from TJ Maxx. So I think I paid, yeah, I paid $16.99 for it. I don't get a lot of Too Faced stuff. Uh, I just don't really go for their stuff. Um, I'm not a big fan of their eyeshadow palettes. So now that I put my hair back up, what did I say? What was I saying? Okay, I had to put my hair up. But, so I really just don't reach for their products really. Um, I'll grab them if I see them at TJ Maxx or something. But I have actually heard a lot of good things about this primer and I saw it and it's like a super huge one. Like this is way bigger than the normal size one and it does say major major it's so big so i thought i would try that too since i'm doing all this new stuff so we're just gonna do a whole bunch of new crap on our face today yes yes for new stuff no for my wallet so i'm going to go in with the foundation now so if you guys are wondering about this eyeshadow look that's not really complete right now i'll go ahead and link that up here for you guys to check out so this is what it looks like it's a pretty small tube Let's see what it claims. Up to 24 hours of hydration, lasting all day, moisture, okay. Skin is significantly hydrated. Hello, dry skin. I think a lot of people are starting to come out with foundations and stuff for dry skin. And I'm over here like, yes, give it to me all. Because it's always been about matte and I need people to get it together because this skin cannot do matte. It can't, it just can't. So up to 24 hour glow. Ooh, dewy, juicy finish, first of all. <laughs> juicy. It's a weird word to put for foundation, but okay. Looks fresh all day. It has kombucha filtrate plus marula oil. I thought marula was tart. I thought that was like their whole maracuja or something like that. Never mind. And it's vegan. Does not contain animal derived ingredients or byproducts, which we love. But again, it didn't have a lot of um like color variation. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say that. Okay, so it is a foundation. It's just the way that this tip is makes me think you're supposed to add it. Look how light this is <laughs> compared to the tube. I'm telling you guys, it did not have I think there's all of like 12 colors. That's it. Like when you have companies like Fenty and all them coming out with like 12 or like 40 color. When you have companies coming out with like 40 different shade ranges of foundation and all you can come out with is 12, we need to talk. We need to have a conversation. Yeah, I just feel like you have so many companies that are coming out with all these different colors and shade ranges, like 40, 50 shade ranges, and you're gonna come up here with 12? Like, this is ridiculous, but this is it. Like, I was so, so 40, they have light, medium, warm, which is what this one is, and then light, medium, neutral, and then medium warm, which would have been way too dark, and then light neutral, which would have been way too light. So I'll be able to bronze this up. So it's very, very light coverage. You will have to build this up if you want full coverage for sure. I feel like that's the only way they can get like hydrating glowy foundation on the market. Can't be full coverage, it just can't. Look how pale I look. Ugh, I hate this for me. And it also said that this was warm undertones, 
This is definitely giving me like pinky undertones. So that's kind of strange. Mm. Do you see that? It's like lifting here. Why is it doing that? It's lifting off my face. That's weird. It lifted a lot and I don't know if it's showing you on camera, but it lifted a lot here and here on my cheeks. Like no matter how much I kept going over and over and over it, it just wasn't, it wasn't picking up at all. It's very pale. I know. Just ignore that it's not my shade. I had to find like a super light concealer because this is such a light foundation on me. I think my concealer might actually be darker than this foundation. I am not loving this foundation. This blender is nice and soft, but sometimes I think it's a little... I think this is a little too soft for my liking, but it's like super soft. Like it just squishes down to nothing. So I'm going in with my Tatcha setting powder and I'm just setting in those areas. Why does this look so yellow? All right, so I'm going in with my Laura Mercier setting powder and I'm gonna set with that. I think this foundation is doing something real funky under my concealer. So usually my setting powder does not do this. It's really turning orange i don't know if you guys can see that yeah i don't i don't i don't i don't like this foundation another product that i'm just like why did i freaking buy this crap <laughs> all right so we're gonna go in with the bronzer it's just another item it's another new item we'll face a new shit um no i also got this from tj maxx i don't always do my tj maxx hauls with you guys just because sometimes i'll be there for something else related like housing housing wise or whatever and i'll just see a few items and i pick them up it's never the same but i keep them together so like when i do videos i can know okay this is new i need to use this but it's not always like oh i got all this stuff and i just didn't show you so this is the laguna bronzer from nars but no, I didn't get all of this together. It's just stuff that's waiting for me to use that I've picked up here and there. If I do like a haul, I want it to have more than like two things of makeup related. And sometimes like for this like bronzer, I went the other day and I think I got this and I forget what else I got. It was like one other beauty item. And then, then the rest was like for my kids and for my husband. So just wasn't really anything I feel like you guys would be interested in. Now, if you guys want to see like normal hauls from not beauty related items, then sure, go ahead and let me know. But it was, it was just like stuff that I don't feel like really goes with the flow of my channel. So I just keep them so I can show you guys later on what I bought. So I'm just kind of rubbing bronzer everywhere at this point to try to get it to bring some color back into my face because that Urban Decay foundation was just atrocious in the color that I picked. But I really felt like I had no choice. All right, so I'm going into my bouquet palette from Jouer. And I'm going to go in, I think, with... I think I'm going to go in with this color. This color right here. I don't know what it's called. It's just pretty. These are very pigmented, so i got to be careful. I always forget that. See, I can bring some color into a foundation but it just did this like weird thing under my eye with my concealer i've used this concealer many times and it's never done this um it like made it like react really weird to my powder and i thought it was the powder because at first i used the tatcha one and it was doing it over here and i was like okay there's something wrong maybe this powder doesn't like it then i did it with the laura mercier and <laughs> did the same thing so i've like orange eyes i don't know if it picks up on camera it never does and then it looks like oh does it is it orange jamie is it yes it's orange and it also doesn't look very hydrating i'm not gonna lie to you guys like i don't see the hydrating portion okay i actually feel I actually feel really dry with this on my face Right, we're gonna go into highlighter. I'm using the new ABH highlighter and iced out. I did a review on this. Check that video out. So much good newness. And I also put my hair down early because I'm tired of this. Like how light that is on my head from the foundation versus my bronzer. <sighs> Not working for me. All right, so now we're gonna go in with our setting spray. And this is the Professional Super Setter like super soaker. I will tell you, it is very cheap packaging. It's like the old Urban Decay all-nighter spray. Like it's just very plasticky. So it's very cheap, I feel like, for being as expensive as it is. 
doesn't smell bad. It does miss though. It doesn't like squirt out. It's floral. And then also I ordered a fan on Amazon and it said it was delivered yesterday. Ow. And it wasn't. And now they're like, well, if it doesn't get delivered by the first, then just contact us and we'll refund you. Okay, but like, how about you refund me now? Because it hasn't been delivered. There's no picture either. Usually they leave a picture that it was delivered. I actually love this setting powder. I'm not going to lie. That like really just like melted all of this together. I don't hate that. The foundation is oxidizing though. Like if you look here. In places I didn't put any bronzer, it's starting to get a little bit darker. Which is usually a bad thing, but you know, when you're only left with 12 shades to try from. I love the setting spray. I don't like the container because it is very expensive. Like I just feel like it should be in a better container or misting container. But I do like that it mists and it doesn't like squirt out. I like the smell of it and it literally, it like melted all of my powders down. Like my face looks so like glowy because of this, not because the hydrating, you know, foundation was supposed to do, but I really, really like that actually. For my lips, I'm going to be going in with the Lunar Beauty in the shade Daydream. If this looks a little pink, it's because I tried to use a different color and I hated the color. <laughs> hated it. Oh, this is perfect for this look. I love this color with this look love it. I tried to go in with the Laura Lee Mai Tai and it was just way too coral I feel like for this look. So I'm going to hop off camera and put my lashes on and finish my under eye and then I will be right back guys and we will do my final thoughts on all of these new things. Alright guys so my final thoughts. <laughs> I'm obviously going to wear this for a little bit and as I always do I will pin a comment with an updated thought or anything that's changed since it, since then. This is like a first impression kind of thing. So if this foundation, you know, oxidizes any more than it already has, if it starts to like be like worse or better or whatever, I always update you guys. So make sure you take a look and it'll be pinned. So for the foundation, this foundation, it bothers me in many ways, just many ways. Uh, I don't feel as though it gave me any hydration look to my skin. Like the only glowy part of my skin I feel like is where I've put my highlighter. I don't feel as though it was a very hydrating or dewy foundation. It said juicy up in here and this, there was nothing juicy about it. Like I just feel like it really did cling to a lot of my dry areas and I hate, hate that it only comes in 12 different shades and maybe only Ulta gets 12 different shades. I don't know. I'll have to look more into that and I'll put it right here on the screen if I find out that I was wrong, but I'm pretty certain it only comes in those 12 shades and I think that's ridiculous. I think that it's 2021 and if companies like Fenty can launch with 40 shades of foundation, I think that they can come up with more than 12. I Maybe this is something that I should be mixing in with the foundation, I don't know, but it definitely calls it a foundation on the Ulta website. I just, this is gonna be a no for me. I don't think you guys need to buy this. It is lightweight, you can kind of build it, but as I was building it, I will tell you, it started to come off, like it was lifting off my face and separating. So I don't, I just don't think that that is a necessary buy. For the setting spray, I actually enjoyed the setting spray. I saw a lot of negative comments um, when they launched this or revealed that they were launching it. <laughs> a lot of people were making fun of it because it was plastic and it looked like, you know, child makeup. What? I don't care. I wish that for as expensive as it is, it came in a nicer bottle. But I do like the mister. I like that it missed. I don't mind the smell. And it did take all of that powder on my face and really just melt it down. So smooth. Like, it just looked so nice. But I'm going to keep trying this to let you guys know if there's something I don't like about it. Again, I don't like that it just kind of opens. It's just plasticky. It's just... It does look like kid makeup, but come on. It's not that big of a deal to me for the look of it if the product is good. I do like this one. So I know that I use a lot of new products here today that aren't necessarily new, so I'm not really reviewing those. The main focus of this video today was to just show you guys my thoughts and first impressions of these two new products that are newer on the market. So I just, this one, I'm gonna say yes. If you need a new setting spray, try her out. She's really nice. I liked her. This one, 
don't get it. You don't eat it. I, mm, I don't like it. It is a very, very big no for me. I'm not a fan. I didn't like how it feels. I don't like how I feel cakey. Like, I feel like I have to keep spraying my face with setting spray. Taking my face to, like, loosen up. <laughs> it's just, I don't like it. So the foundation is definitely a no. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I do five videos every week and one blooper video every Saturday. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.